Society is about perfection. Um, we read on social media who got into which schools, we read on social media who accomplished what, and we don't read on social media who failed, who didn't get in, or how that worked out. We're constantly feeding ourselves this perfect world that doesn't exist. And um, the idea of failing and, and learning from failure, even in high school, I mean, we're pressed to perform and succeed always. Where's that failure base? So we're working off of a base model called Safe Talk, which is a program of Living Works. Living Works is a leading organization on suicide prevention internationally, and they have different models, but Safe Talk is a three hour model, and it's very straightforward, it's very basic, it's how to handle a crisis. When used, it's so basic, just like CPR is so basic, it's such a basic tool that if people know lives are saved, the number one way to know if someone's contemplating suicide is to ask them directly, are they thinking about suicide? Studies show that 96% of the time, a person's gonna answer honestly if they're thinking about suicide. So if someone's not sure, they shouldn't beat around the bush, they should ask directly, are you thinking about killing yourself? Or are you thinking about suicide? And especially in teens' lives, where teens are so interconnected and interwebbed in each other's lives, when someone isolates and someone drops out of group chat or someone stops performing socially, everyone else just kind of continues moving at that same social pace, that person feels very isolated. And with some very basic tools, they can change that pattern. There's several different signs. The person's down for a long time, and now all of a sudden their mood has perked up. They've been positive for a long time, and it perked down. It's a massive change in pattern. If someone thinks that they know someone's suicidal, they can either ask that person directly and bring that person to help, or they can call one of our phenomenal resources in our community. Of course, there's J-Help, which will direct them to different resources. There's a suicide hotline. So don't forget the obvious. There's suicide hotlines. There's the police. 911 is always a resource that can be used if someone thinks that someone else is in danger. The average wait time between someone having an onset of mental illness and being treated is about 10 years. And if we can shrink that to a lot less, we could help a lot of people. 